Hello and welcome to Eclectic Classes. In this video, we will study about different categories of instruments. Various instruments used in the instrumentation field could be divided under various categories depending on their attributes. Let's go through these types one by one. Active and Passive Instruments Passive instruments are those in which the output is entirely produced by the quantity being measured. An example is a pressure measuring gauge. Here the fluid pressure is translated into pointer movement to display the measured quantity. Active instruments are those in which quantity being measured modulates magnitude of some external source be it electrical, pneumatic or hydraulic. An example is a float type tank level indicator with potentiometer. In this kind of instrument, tank level changes float position, which in turn changes the position of potentiometer arm, which changes the electrical signal. Here we see an external energy source is being modulated from the quantity being measured. So it is an active instrument. Null type and deflection type instruments. Deflection type instruments are those where the quantity being measured is shown through deflection of some part. An example is a pressure gauge which displays pressure through deflection of the pointer. Null type instruments are those where zero or null indication determines the magnitude of the measured quantity. An example is a dead weight pressure gauge. In this type of pressure gauge, we keep on putting the weights till piston reaches the reference point. Once it reaches, total weight put on is nothing but the pressure of the fluid. Deflection type instruments are readily used in workplaces due to its easy to use characteristic where anyone can read the pressure on the scale. In null type, we need to keep adding and subtracting weight so it's not easy to use but its accuracy is quite superior and due to this it is always used for calibration. Analog and Digital Instruments Analog instruments are those whose output varies continuously with any change in quantity being measured and so analog instrument output can have an infinite number of values within any range defined for that instrument. While digital instruments are those whose output varies in discrete steps and not continuously. Digital instruments can have only a finite number of values. An example of analog instrument is a pressure gauge or pressure transmitter. Example of a digital instrument is a pressure switch. Pressure gauge can have an infinite number of values on the scale with the pointer movement while pressure switch can have only two values. Indicating instrument and instrument with output signal. Indicating instrument are those which give a visual or audio indication of the measured quantity. An example is a pressure gauge. Almost all of the passive instruments are example of indicating instrument. Instrument with signal output are those which provide an electrical, pneumatic or optical or any other type of signal based on the measured quantity. These instruments are used in control systems. An example is pressure transmitter which provides a 4 to 20 milliampere signal based on the pressure measured. Smart and non-smart instruments. Smart instruments are those which can adjust the measured quantity values as per local conditions without any need to refer to the central controller. Non-smart instruments don't have, have any such capability to react as per the local conditions. Smart instruments can have remote calibration capability, self-diagnosis of faults, accuracy measurement, error compensation, etc. Non-smart instruments don't have any such capability. This was all about instrument type. If you have not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe for getting updates of my new videos. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with my new video.